Hello everyone, this is Harless58 signing on to give you my review of the Asus ZenWatch 2. Okay, so I've had this for a week, a uh, week and a day. I got it last Thursday. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, you know, what I think of this Android Wear device. First off, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I love it, pretty much. Uh, the results are in, and this is an amazing device. I don't know if maybe it's because I hated the S2 so much that when I got this, I just liked it that much better. I'm not sure. But, um, so I never really go over specs, but I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a rundown. So this is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 400, clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. Operating system is Android Wear, has a half a gigabyte of RAM, 4 gigs of uh, storage. This is a 1.63 inch AMOLED display, which is 320 by 320, giving a PPI of 278. Um, uh, has a microphone, as we know, 400 milliamp hour battery. Uh, and that's pretty much the gist of it. And then, so these straps are removable. They're quick release straps, and they these are 22 millimeter straps here. Okay. So uh, overall, like I said, I love the device. What I like most about it is design. Um, well, not what I like most about it, but I'm going to give you the list of the things that I like, and one of them is design. This is a really well designed smartwatch. Um, I was kind of on the fence about square watches versus round watches when I first got into Android Wear. Um, but I really do like with uh, Asus did with the did with the Zen Watch 2. The first Zen Watch I didn't think was too greatly designed. Sorry, I didn't think it was the best design. But um, I really do like the way that this one uh, looks, and I like the way that it sits on the the wrist. And it is I like the size. It's big, and I'm a big guy. I like a watch that covers. I like big watch faces. So you know, I enjoy the size of this device as well also like the straps the straps are quick release and they're standard 22 millimeter uh, straps so take them off like this you want to put them back on just like I showed you guys in the quick unboxing video just do like so I'm doing this from behind the camera you guys will be able to time how long it takes me to do this and you see that took like what maybe 10 seconds you guys will be able to rewind the tape and see quick release wonderful great idea with the straps i can put any strap that i want pretty much any standard straps i have a fossil watch and i can just uh, take those straps off and put them right on this so great job aces uh for doing that um another thing that i do like about this device also is software i had the original model roller 360 and android rear really i don't think was ready for prime time a year ago um, this time, it still has some of its little quirks that I don't like, but it's really great now. The voice recognition software is amazing. Um, I have been, like, replying to text messages and Hangouts messages end over end, like, and I'm talking about relatively long re uh, replies, and it's been picking up amazingly. Um, and this has been in, like, rooms where there's mild noise, nothing like crazy, and if there's like no noise at all, then I mean obviously it's even better. So uh, the fact that it can still listen in rooms where there's mild noise and pick up on every every word that I'm saying is great and amazing. And that was one thing that I didn't like about the original Android Wear software because it just, it didn't. And it kind of, it just made it a hassle. You know, you get a text message, you want to respond. You respond via voice, it doesn't hear you at all. So you have to, you know, start all over or it catches everything but that one word. And that's not good. And so with, uh, sorry, I don't want to blow anybody up. So yeah, so um, it just has been working amazingly. So again, I like the design. I like the straps. I like uh, the display. A lot of people were kind of giving the Zeus, you know, like saying the display wasn't great, but I really do like it. Um, and the battery life also I enjoy. Um, pretty much if you use this, I forgot, I think it's called ambient mode. Let me double check. I want to tell you guys the wrong thing. I forget. Okay, we're going to go into settings here. So we're going to look it up right now. And this is always on screen, right? So I have always on screen. If you turn that off, you can get two to three days out of this out of this watch easily. If you have it on the, um, the, the display where the display is always on, you can get, I would say, two days if you really, really stretch it. If you're doing nothing but light, light use. And by light, light use, I mean just basically wearing it and looking at the time. No notifications. You can get two days. You can get a day, day and a half um, with it like this. So, like, if you're really, really heavily using the device, you can get a day easily, which is great, in my opinion. Um, uh, one thing that I did find a little weird, I use, uh, I believe it's, the app is called Sleep. Let's see, I'm gonna see if I can pull up the app on here right now. So I think it's called, like, Sleep As or something like that. I'm sorry, sleep tracking. Um, and that really does kill the battery. Um, so, you know, you can use that and it will track your sleeping 
while you're it'll track you know your movement while you're sleeping and that really eats the battery alive um which i don't know if it's supposed to do that maybe it is but whatever um so yeah so the uh, thing about the design that i don't like is this button here it's, it's kind of mushy it's not really clicky um if you like you know buttons that are better at you know like being more clicky and give you like a nice touch then it's, it's not you're not you're not going to get that here um but again so again the things that i do like i like the design overall i like the straps i like the screen i like the battery i like the software um it does not have a heart rate monitor as you see that's not a deal breaker for me uh, because then that leads to the number one thing that i like most about this which is the price i got this watch for 130 bucks that's crazy as far as smart watches go right now android wear devices and this is the second generation android wear device you can get for 130 bucks that pretty much that means you can get two gear s2 gear s2s for the price of this one and this outperforms the gear s2 i think i think that the spinning uh bezel on the gear s2 is amazing but i don't again at that price point i don't think it's worth it with this you can get a standard android wear device that has the same internal specs as any other android wear device is designed great in my opinion no it's not a round face but it's square and if you're a lover of square watches then you will have a problem with it at roughly half the price of any other android wear device the moto 360 right now starts at 299 a huawei watch i believe starts at 350 or 400 um so this is the cheapest second generation android wear watch that you can get and um you know doing some snooping on the internet this does have a uh, a speaker an internal speaker which a lot of people are rumoring for the fact that android wear will support phone calls soon so maybe that will happen so you don't have to worry about you know okay yeah you're getting the cheapest android wear device at second generation but you won't be able to upgrade no the way that google is uh they're tightly holding on to the operating system of you know android wear so that certain hardware has to be used in order to work with this os and so they mandated certain hardware to exist for these you know devices so that it can integrate with Android Wear and still provide longevity for the end user. So I wouldn't worry about copying this device and then thinking that it's going to no longer be good in a couple of months. That's not going to happen. Um, so things that I don't like about the device. Um, so the software does have some small quirks. Um, really small. Like, for example, some apps. And the week that I have used it, there have been two apps that have sort of like lagged on me. Um, and that was the Under Armour app when I was actively working out. Um, it like said that Under Armour could not respond and so I had to like kind of force close it and I think the other one was I think the sleep tracking app and so I had to turn off the device and then turn it back on but after that it worked fine so that was two apps in my week so in overall it's like maybe a 5% out of the 95% of the usage of the device another thing that I really don't like about this device is this the charger um it's kind of it's just weirdly placed you you pretty much have to turn the device over in order for it to snap on and stay i i've had times where i turn the device like this and i put it in charge and i wake up at night and it's not charging because it's loose <laughs> so the safest way to charge this device is by turning it on its face and plugging it in that way in order to ensure that it is indeed charging so um you know Maybe a, a better way could have been implemented in order for this. Maybe a dock will come out that uh, Asus has. Maybe there's one already out and I've missed it um, that would be able to charge this sufficiently. Um, what else do I not like about this device? Sorry about that. Okay, so... Uh, okay, sorry about that. Um... <laughs> Okay, so back to this. So that's pretty much everything that I did not like about this device. Um, so the things that I did not like about this device were the charger and the little quirks that Android Wear as an OS still has. Um, even though I really do enjoy Android Wear, I feel like it has really grown in the last year. Um, even with, because I've had the original Moto 360, like I said, and I sold it a couple of months ago and even still like the progression is crazy it's really smooth it's not laggy sorry so i guess i should go ahead and show you guys right i don't want to like go through my notifications for you guys to see um so that's kind of difficult <laughs> but yeah i mean as far as the os goes it's really smooth so um so yeah so like i said there's been like little small hiccups 
like for example right now okay yeah so uh so yeah I guess that kind of looks bad because it just kind of lagged out on me right now on the screen but it that's not something that it does a lot of the time so anyways overall my review states that I think that you should go out and get this if you're looking for a smartwatch you don't want to break the um the bank too much then I would definitely get the Asus Zenwatch 2 um the software is amazing has tons of watch faces um, so we can go and look at some of the watch faces on here right now just hold down here and you can scroll through all of them and then you can um, so these are like the ones that I've used most recently so they pop up initially here and then if you continue to go you can go through all of the other ones and then this little settings sign here shows that you can edit them um, so yeah so overall it really is a great smartwatch um, really fast does everything that you want it to do and it does it great and it's not expensive I would say that this is like the nexus of the uh, of the smartwatches because it's not super expensive it does everything that you needed to do and it's efficient in doing so um, no it does not have a heart rate monitor but personally heart rate monitors on watches they suck to be 100% realistic with you so yes if I was you I would go out and spend 130 bucks on this device I don't believe you can find a smartwatch that's better than this currently on the market. Definitely not at that price. Um, and I still believe that it's a beautifully designed watch as well. The only reason why you should not get this is if you want a watch that is circular. You can't buy this one. Um, and if you want a device with a heart rate monitor, you can't buy this one. If you want a device that supports wireless charging, you can't buy this. So that's Hollis 58. Hope you guys enjoy my review. Any thoughts, questions, concerns, please leave them in the comment section. And let me know what you guys think. Later.